but this is for Rafael Vaz, who's a specialist in orthopedic surgery. Um, and the idea we had was like, what if we give something to the patient while they're in the hospital? I think between three to five days to recover, and you know, instead of saying, "Oh, here's a piece of ten pieces of paper you need to read up on like recovery," uh, the idea was to give them some like a recovery pack. So I went to um, did some shopping yesterday, and uh, it was um, Target and Daiso, right? And we came up with um, coloring books. Um, do we actually go? And this is actually a coloring book for adults. So because all the people who's going to have uh, hip surgery or joint surgeries are usually 50 plus. So and I guess nowadays we would talk about being more mind mindfulness, right? Being able to be uh, in the present. So we thought you know a little coloring book would be good. Or alternatively, that's, that's the coloring book idea. Um, and this one from Daiso is pretty cool. Like you, you actually get to color the thing and then rip it out and that can actually become a postcard <laughs> it works in japan i don't know if it works here but i'm sure it's the same theory you just chuck in the stamp here and then send it out so that's the coloring book idea and we got um it's got a few carrying bags and we got a sudoku as well so standard sudoku in a leather um casing uh, bounded so sudoku or like a puzzle, 250 puzzles. Now yeah, keep the the geatrix uh, mind sharp. Um, another example of coming books. And um, Raphael mentioned that um, I don't know any particular reason, but apparently chewing chewing gums help them with recovery. Don't know what that, but that's his advice. So we just got something together. Um, yeah. So basically. While we're giving out freebies, um, I guess if you look at it from a business intention perspective, we want to help the practice build up on their reputation. So in there will be things that they can do while on their downtime. And then what we want to do is have a little um, a slip, right, to say, you know, um, uh, obviously the standard stuff about recovery, after patient care, but also like a little pamphlet to um, get them to write a review for the practice or for the, the surgeons. And obviously, you know, we, we we don't want to go overboard in terms of the cost. So it's it's important to keep everything sort of um, uh, cost efficient or feasible, right? So here's the breakdown of the cost. So this is from Target. Uh, this one, four dollars. Um, the coloring pencil from Daiso, two dollar eighty. The bag itself, a dollar eighty. And then the chewing gum, I think, got four packs for four packs for two dollars. Right? So that's one pack. Though. That's um, we can actually just take one of the pack out, so that's be minimal. So four, two, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine dollars, less than ten dollars for a pack. Right? Uh, the most expensive th uh, item is actually this one because leather bounded, uh, six dollars. Right? And everything else is either uh, four dollars, two eighty. Or the Daiso stuff is 280. Cheap. Yeah, so if you can give something out only um, $10 to the patient, they will obviously be very happy and an unexpected gift. And they're more likely to, you know, um, talk good things about their experience and stuff because they got three days doing nothing anyway. So that's a really good opportunity for them to uh, build their reputation. So, yeah, that's it. So, imagine you're in the practice, when you're in the surgery room um, recovering. Your surgeon actually give you a little pack like this, a little pack like that, and they'll give you that warm, fuzzy feeling, and um, yeah, something to do while you're recovering as well. Obviously, if in between um, like people visiting you, you can do Sudoku or coloring books. So we've got plenty of other videos similar to this where it helps you with your marketing of your practice. Uh, either subscribe to us on YouTube or like us on Facebook and um, be notified the next time the video comes out.